I was just wondering, with so many of the linemen playing either being new guys or guys playing different positions than they've been accustomed to in the past, how typical has it been to kind of establish a rhythm, establish chemistry, and how do you think you all handled that Sunday just in terms of line play specifically? Offensive line play at every level throughout any part of the history of this game is all about cohesion and playing with one another. You need to have confidence in the guy next to you, and you guys need to be on the same page. You almost need to be thinking for each other. You need to be, you know, in sync. It's almost like a one brain mentality. I don't think we did an awful job of that at all. Like every game, there's definitely stuff that we can clean up as not only an offensive line, but as a team in general. Brian Wood. Hey, Billy, you guys have had a ton of success here last couple of years, 26-6 and six NFC Championship games. I'm curious, when, when things don't go well like they did Sunday, what is Matt like to be around as a head coach? How does he respond to that? What, what do you see from him in the locker room and his messaging to you as a team? How do you think he is? I have no idea. I haven't been around him. Well, Matt is uh, Matt's a good dude. Matt, over the past couple of years, you can see, like a lot of guys on any given team, they slowly start to uh, take on some different things that other people around them bring to them. One of the things that Matt has been big on during fall camp this year and just since we have all been together as a team is trying to embrace positivity, especially in the face of adversity. Now, growing up around football, knowing a lot of football coaches at high levels and being around a lot of athletes that have played at that level, I know what coaches and I know what players can be like in the heat of the moment when it comes to the high stressors of an NFL football game before and right after. And I know how they can be a couple days after that. So with that being said, Everyone is completely different in regards to wins and losses and how they handle adversity. But what I will say is that over these last two and a half, three years, Matt has definitely talked to me and made a point to be more positive in the face of adversity this year. And I think he's doing a good job at it so far. Bill Huber. Hey, Billy, it's obviously a new scheme for the Lions, but you you faced Aquara and um, uh, Flowers a few times before. What, what, what's the challenge with those guys? Uh, they're physical guys. They, they like to play the game how it's supposed to be played, which is something you know that you go into every Sunday hoping that you get to uh, line up against someone who plays the game the right way. They're physical, they're powerful, and they play hard every single snap. Mike Clemens. Billy, in a game like Sunday, how much input does a veteran player like you have with Steno or with your teammates when you're on the sidelines? Were they throwing you formations or stunts that uh, were unscouted for you? No. Um, you know, every time you go into a football game, you hope that based off of your game plan and scouting and whatnot, that you're going to be facing everything that you practiced that week. But the reality of it is, is every single NFL game, there's always unscouted looks. And that's when you have to rely on not only your technique, but you have to rely on your plays. You have to rely on exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing so that when you do get into situations like that, you're able to continue to play at a high level and you're able to react even though it's an unscouted look that you maybe didn't go through that week in practice. So, you know, we, we do a good job as a team of giving a lot of unscouted looks. But at the end of the day, every NFL game is different. You don't have somebody that is thinking like another person and that other person being someone that's on the other team, the D coordinator, et cetera. So you're not ever going to really be perfect. You might guess right on some stuff, but especially the first game of the year, if you're looking at tape from last year, et cetera, it's kind of hard to base stuff off of some preseason games. But again, sometimes your unscouted looks are going to be exactly what your game plan that Sunday is going to have to be run by. Thanks. Ryan Wood. Obviously, the, the pass pro is pretty good Sunday, but in the run game, Matt said that you guys got to run the ball better. I'm curious, what went wrong in, in the run game and when he went, went back and watched the film? And this whole offseason has been about getting Jordan Love ready. Did, did you guys devote enough time in the offseason to the run game? 
to be completely honest with you, when you go into an off season and you want to work on certain things, there's still an even blend between the pass game and the run game. You know, it's it's not necessarily where you're going out to practice and you're just going to run the football all day and not throw the ball. That doesn't make sense because that's not what you do in a football game. It's clearly based off of the down, the distance, and how the game rolls, you know what I'm saying, the flow of the game. So, yeah, I think we did devote enough time to the run game this offseason, and I don't think that it was horrible by any means. I think what happened in the run game this past Sunday for us was a lot of fine details that we just need to correct. And when it comes to the NFL, when you're playing the best day in and day out, it's that small little detail, whether it's foot placement, whether it's you're cutting too soon or whether it's you're not getting your head you know an inch play side or something like that that can create the difference in the run game so to be completely honest with you if a couple small things are fixed in some of those runs that we had on Sunday there's no reason why all of those runs in the 15 that we had couldn't have gone for 170 yards versus 40. Adriana Torres uh, what did you see from the rookies out there on the line? Obviously, it was their first real NFL game. Um, could you sense that they did have confidence and felt ready to go? They played hard. If you watch them snap in, snap out, that's the one thing that I was very impressed with. They went out there and they left it all on the field. They played very, very hard. Steve McGargy. You'll be matching up with Detroit and go look up to see Jamal Williams again Monday night. I'm just wondering. What sticks out the most in your memory of what he was like as a teammate, what he was like to block for on the field, and just what he was like off the field as well? Jamal Williams is a great person. He was one of my favorite teammates that I've ever probably um, played with. He's just a great dude, as you said, not only on the football field and in the locker room, but off the field as well. I love talking to Jamal just about life, and I love watching him go out on the field on Sunday and play because he plays the game the right way. Him and Aaron Jones are very, very similar. They play the game hard, and they give it their all every single play. Any other questions for Billy? Hold on, we got one more here. Go ahead, Tom Silverstein. Hey, Billy, when you're a rookie in the NFL, how long, especially when you're a starter, how long does it take before it feels like you're a vet? Like you've seen the things that you're probably, a lot of the things you're going to see, especially on the offensive line. Uh, never, to be honest with you. That, as an offensive lineman, it's just not that type of game for us. And I don't think that you should ever have that mentality as an offensive lineman. And I think as soon as you have that mentality, that's when you're screwed. You should not ever think like that as an offensive lineman because you never know what's going to happen. You draw your plays up, you get your play call, you never know what the defense is going to do. And more often than not, the guy across from you is usually more athletic than you. You know what I'm saying? So as an offensive lineman, I don't personally think you should ever have that mentality. 